What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon playthrough. Today, we're picking where we left off in the last one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start, I believe, another new trial. It's just crazy how quickly we've uh, we've kind of gone through this game. Not, not that I feel like I'm rushing, but... Uh, things are just available to us to do and it's like all right. I'm, I'm gonna do it. You can't you can't stop me uh, So let's go ahead. Let's head over to this trial now and There's not too much else for us to do. We versed a lot of the trainers last time around I just wanted to get to that Pokemon Center before heading this way into this trial uh, I believe this is Lana's trial Pretty sure it's a name. She's the green one. She wants you to smash things or she used to Mallow not Lana Lana was the blue one Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Malo. You ready to get in some hot water? My trial is ready for you if you're ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. You're the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Coco, aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay, then here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Malo's trial to begin. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. I wonder, I, so I did hear that this trial changed. I don't know how, but I heard that it changed. Yup, it's gotta be. My secret specialty, the Super Malo Special. I'm gonna need you to find three ingredients for me. I'll need a Muggle Berry, some honey, and a Big Root. Here you go. I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients you gather for your trial. So here we go, we got a forage bag to Dow. Seems like so unnecessary, but whatever. If you just tossed all the Trial ingredients in your own bag would make something all right. Something like a mallow mess, I guess. Okay, so that's why. Let's go and find the first ingredient right away. All right, so we're looking for three ingredients. Um, and it should be pretty easy enough. I know in the last, in, in, in regular moon, I'm sorry, I feel like my camera is not in focus. Um, oh, we got sparkles. I know the last one you had to use Stoutland and you sniffed. So this already looks different. Jeez, those Fermentus. I wonder if they could tell how strong you are. <laughs> you can find Muggleberries around here, but you'll also find Formantis living here because they love Muggleberries too. If you take a Muggleberry that Formantis had their eyes on, they might not take it too kindly. When you're done gathering ingredients here, just let me know. You just need one Muggleberry, right? A sweet scent is wafting up from the sap, dripping from the tree trunk. Will you pick the Muggleberry that's on the ground here? Yes, I will. Put the Muggleberry in your forage bag. Did all I need is one Muggleberry? And then they may come attack you later on. Uh oh. Okay, so they tend to be living in tree. Can I put that berry back then? Oh no, I already took it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get attacked basically. There's no there's no way around it. I'm getting attacked. Is that basically what's gonna happen? A sweet and sour scent is wafting up from the sap, dripping from the tree trunk. Will you pick the Mago Berries on the ground here? No. A sweet scent, a sour scent is wafting. So this is the one that I want. Do you want this one instead? Yes, I want this one instead. So this tree only has sour, which means there's no honey, because honey is not sour, it is sweet. So we're gonna go with that one. All right. Maybe we'll be good then. This is the one I want to grab, Milo. You can't change my mind. I got to drink my Airborne. Then it's on to the next ingredient. Chop, chop. Let's keep moving. Let's see. They're happy. They're fine. They're like, oh, you didn't take my berry. We're good. Because we went with the sour. You can harvest honey from the flowers that bloom here in the jungle, but you'll also find plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. Is that freaking Kiwi? When you find the ingredients you're sure you want, come show them, show them to me, okay? All right, so Kiwi, what are you doing here, man? People say Pokemon are lured in by flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers if you don't want to get attacked. These ingredients are important for the trial, but they're also very important to the Pokemon that live in Lush Jungle. This Thick Club I'm going to give Malo too was a result of serious effort on the part of my Marowak and I. Yeah, Thick Club is a uh, it's a beast. It's very it's directly related to, to 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 that item. Okay, so let's check this. You smell a pleasant aroma. Will you take the honey from the bunch of flowers that bloom here. Yes, I will. I took that honey. I don't know if that's the right honey. I don't want to take that one. 
Those flowers are too bright. Those flowers are too bright. I think I chose the right one, honestly. What's in here? Whoa! We just found grass knot. That's useful. That's super useful. Let me make sure this is all recording on the right tracks because I keep forgetting to do that. And it's not. I knew it. Woo! Okay. Well, we should be good now. Should be good now. Audio is going to sound a little different. But it'll be okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's go. So about that ingredient, you showed someone you want to grab. If any Pokemon have their eyes on it, you might be taking some of the Pokemon things belongs to them. And then they may come attack you later on. I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no! I upset this little guy. I feel bad. A big root, huh? You can find them near the trees deep in the jungle that look like kind of like pseudo wudo. But you'll also find some that are the that are of the trees that look like pseudo wudo are actually pseudo wudo. Good luck and watch out. When you find the ingredients, make sure you that you want, make sure you show them to me, okay? Okay. So we're also supposed to get attacked soon. I'm actually I'm gonna pro play this. We're gonna put Walter out front. There's no reason not to have Walter out front. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest real quick. Okay, so that's an actual pseudo wudo. That's an actual pseudo wudo. So we're looking for a big root. There's gotta be a, a glaring difference. There we go, this one doesn't have the yellow spots. All the other ones have yellow spots, let's go with this one. There's a tree that looks like it might be a pseudo wood, and look, you can tell by the leaves as well. That's easy mode. That's easy mode, come on. Oh Shady, are you here from Malo's Trial too? Oh, I was just taking a guess. Looks like you got Lord in too, huh? I came because Mallow asked me to bring her some fresh water. Oh, so we are literally all eating. What could it be? You want to leave the jungle? You have to start the trial from scratch. Is that okay with you? No, you fool of a took. I already have your ingredients. I have your ingredients. So this was different. This is, um, <clears throat> I mean, it's definitely less Pokemon battles than the other one when you're walking on your Stoutland sniffing things. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I mean, I'm gonna have one battle. I did mess up once. Thanks for stopping by. Let me check the ingredients you got for me. Let's see the Maggleberry first. All right then, let's put this Muggleberry into the pot and there we pour in the fresh water that Lana brought us. Next up is the honey. <laughs> oh, this is the, yep. Cause the honey is cause I took the honey. Well, listen, it doesn't matter. Cause this is just a Formantis. It's just a little baby for Mantis, and we are the Shady Penguin with the teal pants. We have Walter by our side, and I'm not holding back. I'm sorry. Listen, I am, I am sorry for Mantis, but I want this to be over in one turn. I don't know if a regular Fire Fang is going to do that. I don't know. So just to be certain, I dripped Airborne, and I have to lick the cup because I'm pathetic. Just to be certain, certain, just to be certain. We move Inferno Overdrive. And completely obliterate this poor little Formantis. Listen, listen, man. Formantis just learned about survival of the fittest, okay? I took your honey, it's my honey. I took it. I'm stronger than you. It's terrible, terrible lesson. Well, Formantis sure does love its honey. <laughs> well, now it's dead. Now we mix the honey and using the thick club that Kiwi brought along. I like calling him Kiwi, I know it's not his name, etc., etc. And last but not least, the big root. And finally, it's finished with one last pinch of my super special secret spice. Ta-da, the Super Mallow Special. It's all done and it smells delicious. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Oh, snap. Oh, Milo's not happy. Oh, and it is still a Formantis. Or Lorantis? Either way, don't matter. They gave us the Fairy MZ. Totem Lorantis. They gave us the Fairy MZ. Its speed is sharply rose, so it's at plus two, so it's outspeeding everything on my team. It's probably level 25, 24, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight up for the, uh, for the Inferno Overdrive. X scissor. Woo, the animation is new. That's crispy and it's a crit. 
That is a crispy animation. I will take it. I will take it to the bank. I'll deposit it. I'll leave it on this channel for you guys to watch. That animation. It's fine. It's fine. All right, here we go. 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 Grab this. Oh, come on. No. I already know what's going to happen now. Comfy appears. Oh my gosh, just comfy heal this thing. All right, I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to wing it, man. I'm going to really hope this thing does not click um synthesis and it clicks synthesis. Oh my gosh. I needed that Furium Z to take you out. I really did. Let's see how much floral healing. So they managed to make it even more annoying than last time. I need the burn. All right, actually, we have to take out this comfy. Uh, Lurantis is gonna go for synthesis. I cannot believe that you lived that Furium Z. There's the sunny day. Now, if we had the sunny day when we used our, our, our Z move, then we would have been good. Oh my gosh! All right, let's take this. Let's take this. Uh, actually, let's go for Laurentis right now. Let's go for Laurentis because I don't know what Comfy's actually gonna do to me. Solar Blade is gonna hurt, um, but it, it's resisted, so maybe it won't hurt too much. Flower Shield, what is that gonna do? Oh my gosh! Defense raises. Oh, of course. This is the most annoying. This is gonna be the most annoying trial in the whole entire game. Hundred percent. Um, I'm gonna try to take out the uh, Comfy right now with a Fire Fang. I could Ember, but like, that's not gonna do the trick. Like, it's crazy because... It's crazy because like, the Comfy gives us the sun. It gives us the sun. And I'm still gonna struggle against this thing. Um. I'm gonna go into Gilligan. All we've seen from Lurantis was Solar Blade and Synthesis. So, hopefully, it has a Power Herb. Oh my gosh. Hopefully, it only has Grass. Oh, we've seen Excisor. So, we resist Excisor times two, resist uh, Leaf Blade times four. So, I'm hoping. Oh my gosh, that still does so much. Um, I mean, I'm going to try to wing attack the Comfy. I can't believe that this, this thing is actually getting defense buffs. It, I feel like Flower Shield's a new move. Like, it definitely wasn't in the old game. Or if it was, it was just never used. Okay, the Sunlight faded. So, <sighs> Comfy's probably going to go for a, uh, a Sunny Day again. Now this this blade is gonna go off because we did see that power herb on the Laurentis. This move is so devastating, dude. And down goes Gilligan. All right. Um, is there anything we can do? Oh, he's just gonna flower shield. Is there anything we can do? Let's see. I think we can go out into Kyrie right now because there's no sun up. Solar blade is gonna be a two turn move. Kyrie has some nice defenses. Let's go for a headbutt. This is just going to be a, the longest trial ever. Like that's the only, it's the only explanation. There's nothing else we can do. We're going to see another shield. Holy Batman! Let's headbutt this comfy. You're not living that. All right. So unfortunately, what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to heal up Walter. Walter grows to level 27, that's nice. Nikki grows to level 23. Are you immediately calling for help? Oh my gosh, well I'd rather a Kecleon, I think. I think. Um, let's go ahead and let's... go for a super potion on Walter. 
because we, we see that Laurentis was charging before, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, dizzy Punch. You have Dizzy Punch. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't get I don't get confused, fortunately. Uh, I don't want to swap out hard into. Uh, I might actually go for this. We'll be immune to Dizzy Punch. I don't know that Kecleon is going to have any like. What do you call it? Um, helping moves? What did you go for? You went for Sunny Day, so it does have helping moves. It has Sunny freaking Day. Okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead. Let's try to put this Lorantis to sleep. I think that's our best bet. <clears throat> I think our best bet is to put Lorantis to sleep. It's not very effective, though. It's not very effective, though. And this technically on his ancient power. We're getting destroyed! We're actually gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna go for Ember. Or should I double kick? I think because we've seen... Because we've seen the gosh darn stinking ancient power, we have to double click the Kecleon. I thought the Marowak totem was hard. But only this first one's gonna be super effective. Oh no, no, okay, they both are. Okay, that's good. And now color change, you're gonna go into a fighting type. Now you're gonna screech me. Wow. I have to see how much Ember does. Some looks better too. I'm gonna Ember the Lorantis. I, I really don't know what else to do. I'm in minus one defense. I might even faint, I might faint to this. I might actually faint to this. This is ridiculous, man. This is insanity. Like, oh, I like a challenge as much as the next guy. Unfortunately, we're gonna look like Kyrie. Uh, so we're gonna get hit with a physical type move anyway. Like, I do love a challenge, but like, this is a little insane, Pokemon. Being that I can only, I can really only hit this Lorantis with special moves. It's a crit! All right, sunlight's gonna fade. That might give us a turn. I don't know, I'm gonna sacrifice Nikki. Ooh, you know what? If I could have lived, I could bulldoze this Lorantis. But we all know that's not gonna happen, so let's go ahead and let's just, uh, let's super potion Walter. Okay, so... Unfortunately, Diglett is just gonna go down. Nothing I can do about it. I could revive someone else right now. But I'm gonna attempt to see, since we're pretty fast. I'm gonna bulldoze. Nope. Okay. That stinks. Have we bull- We should've- If we would've bulldozed last turn, since the sun wasn't up, we would've been too smart. We would've been too smart. Slowed everyone down. Walter could come out and maybe outspeed a plus one Lorantis. Although I'm not sure if it's speed stat at all. All right. Um, I can take out the Kecleon. I think I'm gonna take out the Kecleon. There's an X Scissors, so it's all out of Leaf Blades, which is kind of good, because X Scissors is much, much weaker. We're gonna take out the Kecleon with an Ember. It's a crit, doesn't matter. I wish I had done that on the Lorantis, honestly. Uh, okay, so we have one turn of like, not garbage. I was considering using a Roto Boost, but I want to see how much this Ember does in the sun. It's two a KO? It's not a two a KO. Okay. Doesn't call for help. Uh, now let's go for a Roto Boost. Let's Roto Boost it up. Give us plus one everything. You go, you go for the synthesis still. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Realistically, if I can get a burn on this thing, oh my gosh, the longest trial of all time. The longest trial of all time. Let's go for an ember. Let's see. Can we get a burn? No more sun, but our plus one, see if we have the sun, oh my gosh. We see a low sweep here, that's pretty dangerous. And my speed falls even further. I'm gonna keep going for embers. I'm pretty positive now, Laurent is just gonna click synthesis over and over and over again. Luckily, I don't want to jinx it, but it hasn't called for an ally. Get the burn. 
Walter, you burn things all the time. Goes for the X scissor. If we get the burn, I think we finish this off. No, we don't. We don't get the burn and we don't finish it off. But still doesn't call for an ally. Goes for the solar blade and we got it. Thank goodness, man. Thank goodness. All right, so we haven't actually failed a trial yet. You defeated Totem Lurantis with Walter, our starter. Beautiful. Wow, Shady, you're even stronger than I thought. You really drew the best out of your team. You even quieted down that Lurantis, the Totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. You battled your way through the Pokemon living here in the jungle to get me the ingredients I need. You and your Tora Cat there make a fabulous team. Yes, even back at Wella Volcano Park, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. Nor did the Araquina that I had trained so carefully. Well, looks like you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. An amazing trainer like you who even cleared my super hard trial definitely deserves this. Give us another Z Crystal, please. I'm begging for it. I'm begging for it. Hand it over. Hand it over, Rover. Trial complete. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Let me show you how to use grass type Z moves. You go like grass. Got it? <laughs> okay, here, watch me. So you're saying grass the whole time. The whole time you do that. Bloom Doom, that's all I see when I see that. Since you've cleared my trial, Shady, why don't you try raising some Pokemon from Lush Jungle here? Have some nest balls. All right, so we get some nest balls. Huh? Hey, Lorantis didn't finish its food. Well, can't let it go to waste. Lana, Kiwi, you guys should have some. Uh, um, I'm pretty full right now. I uh, just ate a berry, yeah. And that food you cooked is suited for Pokemon taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for when Lorantis wants more. You think? Olivia always says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy food cooked for a totem Pokemon too. Your guys is lost. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll just take this to Olivia. See you guys around. All right. Oh. Ooh, what's that sweet smell? A smell drifting my way. Could it be a tasty Malo special? I heard you cleared Malo's trial, yeah? All right, then I have a present for you. This little TM right here is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. All right, we got Smart Strike. Ta-da. There'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. All right, so he's just dragging us there. Is this the uh, little building? Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala's island trials too. Congrats, yeah? Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. Olivia is an expert of rock type Pokemon. You're gonna wanna catch some grass type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just make, just ask Rotom if you need help. Okay, so we, uh, we are advised to catch some grass Pokemon. Um, realistically, or water Pokemon would work. We do have double kick on Torcat. Our Pokemon, our team is like washed right now. Super washed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heal up real quick. And then I think we'll go ahead and we'll scout out what's in Lust Jungle just to see what's added in there. Uh, because I, I wouldn't mind changing up my team a little bit. I know we've only been, this is only like episode 12, but I wouldn't mind changing up my team a little bit. As much as I want to wait to get that uh, potential Totem Araquanid, at least I think that's what I would get next. Um, and that's what I would love to use on the team against against Nalo. I mean, against Olivia, even though it is a bug type, so it is going to be weak to rock. Uh, let's just see what kind of grass Pokemon that, uh, that are offered here. Let's take a Ganda. Let us take a Ganda at these grass type Pokemon. Route 5. I'm pretty sure that the monkeys are in here too. This The, um... Oh my gosh, Oranguru and uh, Passimian, Passimian, Passimian. I don't remember his name. Something like that. Something like that. I wonder if they're actually Sudowudo capturable here as well. Can we get another big root? Let's see. We can't. Shoot! I was honestly hoping we could. Does this lead to that item that I saw? It does. Haha! -ha, this is all I wanted. We found a bit. There's the big root. Look at that. It's like I knew. It's like I'm psychic or something. All right, let's check out the rest of this jungle. I mean, are there any? Are there any other grass 
grass in here besides the one that we just saw? I don't know. Okay, so we see, of course, Steenies here. Uh, we could catch a Steenie. Lorantis is a cool Pokemon. Oh, this isn't about Lorantis. This is about into, um... What is that Pokemon called? Right? Doesn't it? I'm just gonna Ember it. I'm pretty sure it does not evolve into Lorantis. Like the little baby buds that we saw running around with the honey, those evolve into Lorantis. This evolves into like that queen-like Pokemon. King Grudel level 24. Does King want to evolve yet? Or is it 25? I think it's 25. Okay, no biggie. No biggie, King, you take your time. You take your time. Let's see what we got. We have a Comfy here. Hey! I don't really want a comfy. Like a fairy type would be cool, but I'm not a huge fan of comfy's like style of battle. It's very uh, passive and very defensive, which I mean is one of the best ways to fight, obviously, but it's just not what I like to do during LPs. Let's see what we got. We have another Steeny. Okay, so it seems like that's gonna be the, the run of the mill is gonna be Steenies, um, which means I'm fine without it. I'm fine without it. As much as I wanted a little bit more experience, uh, there's really, I don't think there's any trainers in here. Ooh, that is a great range to capture you and I'm not gonna lie. That is a great range, but I'd rather just knock you out and get this level up with Walter. That seems much more appealing to me. Much more appealing to me. Walter grows to level 28. Walter wants to learn swagger. Walter, you've had swagger since episode three of Breaking Bad, okay? Let's calm down for a second. Let's calm down for a quick second. You don't gotta learn it. You don't even gotta earn it. Okay, so this is where the honey was. Can I get more honey? Oh, wait a minute, this moss. Is that gonna be for Leafeon? Maybe it is, maybe it's for Leafeon. Who knows? News, news. We're gonna see another comfy. All right, so it looks like everything is pretty Pretty much what we've seen is what we're gonna get. And I know I'm eventually gonna have to catch all these if I want the shiny charm anyway. But I, like I always say, I could do that off screen. We do that off screen, we don't gotta waste no time. Oh, we do have an item here. It is a max revive. That would have been useful. To be honest, to be own. I were honest with myself. I'd have to say that I'm still bleeding. For Mantis! So if we wanted a Lorantis, this would be the Pokemon to catch right now. A female for Mantis. But I don't think it's gonna live this ember, so we shall not catch it. We'll just burn it to the ground. Burn it all down. All right, is there an item in this little circle of love? We found a revival herb. The gross revive. The revive that makes Pokemon say, ew. All right, we're, gonna, we're just gonna head out of here. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't know what other areas, you know, Rotom's eyes have not lit up for me in quite some time and it's upsetting. It's honestly upsetting. Is this the wrong direction? Is this not the way out? Oh, this is not the way out, shoot. We still need strength. We can't move that big old block without strength. I think that's a strength block. Pretty sure we need the champ. Either that or it's a rock smash block. Either way, we need something. It's not a rock smash block because those are the Tauros like clumps. Okay. So, the only other area we haven't been to, I guess, is that really? Let's just take a gander real quick. Well, we haven't been down here, the Hano Grand Resort, because we can't go, we weren't allowed to go there yet. And Route 9, a short route constructed by Diglett. I think we missed that entirely. And then Konikiki City. Could we head there? Well, it wants us to go here. Hie hie, and then we're gonna go to the uh, lab, I guess. <clears throat> but I guess that's really it. We didn't really skip trainers. So we should be at a good level. We should be at a good level to uh, to kind of advance in the rest of the story, take on Olivia. So let's go ahead, let's fly to Hie hie. Hie hie! Every time I say Hie, I just think of Yu Yu Hakusho. I don't know about you guys, but literally every time, it's the only thing that I think of. I'll never think of a city in Pokemon. I will always think of the Spirit Gun Master. Ooh, I see a totem sticker there. Very nice. All right, let's heal up, because we did do a little bit of battling. Our PP was wavering. Oh, it's so funny, all of our Pokemon, uh, besides like Gassy and our starter, they, like we have three Pokemon that are like, only evolved to stage ones, which means they don't evolve for a little while. 
Uh, Norvin doesn't evolve. Uh, Sharp eventually does, and then Diglett obviously does. But like, it's, they're not like we're not seeing many evolutions, but. It's all good in the hood. We're going to wrap this one up here in the next episode. We'll go ahead and see the lab that Kukui wants to show us. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. I don't ask often, but it really does help the channel out a bunch. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shh.